Welcome back to Fan Service South by Southwest Film Festival Live. I'm Gavin, joined by... Chris Rachel Osland and our exciting guests... I'm John Matthews. And Samantha Kern. And we're here with the very touching movie, Surviving Cliffside. Now, we've joked with you earlier today about something being, you know, like, this is a great comedy, whatever. This is not. No. We're just going to be honest yeah. with you at the front. Uh, but tell us a little bit about what it is for people that aren't lucky enough to be here at South by Southwest. Yeah, so Surviving Cliffside is a documentary in the Visions category. Mm -hmm. And it's about my cousin who's from this trailer park in West Virginia, known for its, like, guns and crime and stuff. But he's got this little daughter, seven-year-old, who beats leukemia and makes a run for Little Miss West Virginia. Which is mind-blowing. I mean, everything about this, when, when, I, when I read the description of it alone, I was like, is this a real documentary? Is this something on, like, We or Lifetime? Because it, it doesn't sound like it could even be real. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I grew up with this guy and grew up down there, so to me, it's like, I don't see what the big deal is, but then I showed it to mm -hmm. my classmates at NYU, and they're like, this is crazy, what is this, <laughs> you know, like, people shooting guns and, mm -hmm. like, doing these crazy Opana dances, you know, on drugs, and, and then, like, there's this kid who beats leukemia, and she's in all these weird beauty pageants with his makeup on and bikinis, so it's, yeah. You couldn't write world. anything more interesting than that, honestly, I mean, and it's real life, and it's kind of interesting how it just kind of comes together for it. But you talk about this trailer park full of drugs and guns and crime and violence. Is there like a trailer park mafia that was like, you can't film here, you got to give us money or something? <laughs> Do you ever feel like, oh, I shouldn't be filming this here? But, well, my, you know, my accent helps a lot when I go in there. You know, like they know I'm one of them. And, uh -huh. you know, I grew up there and it's my cousin. So, like, it, you know, there, there have been so many, like, outsider movies, you know, yeah. made about West Virginia. And they come in and like, oh, we're going to, these hillbillies are so whatever, interesting, or we're going to make a freak show or whatever. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do something that, like, takes itself seriously, you yeah. know, that wasn't, like, a Honey Boo Boo or a Buck Wild or something yeah. like so that. So you're not a fan of Honey Boo Boo? Well, it, it is I what am. it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Sam is a I fan. I watch it. How? <laughs> honey Boo Boo. I don't understand how that got on TV. Seriously, this, dark, is this is the dark side of Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> the dark so side of Honey, honey Boo Boo. How does your cousin feel when you're like, hey... I know this is a really tragic story about your daughter and everything. I would have filmed I, it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you know, I, I, I had to spend as much time, you know, off camera with everybody as on camera, mm -hmm. r really more, because, like, you know, you have to develop, the, you, even though they're my family, you know, like, I'm uh, coming in with a different role, you know, yeah. as, a, as a filmmaker, and I have to develop trust with mm -hmm. them, you know? I have to, you know, just hang out and be part of the family. And we, I mean, we really got super close while I was down there. And I mean, EJ is, is, uh, has been like a little brother to me growing up. And now he's, you know, he's, he's as close as anybody is to me. I'm originally from Oklahoma. He's from here in Texas. And I think that people from especially the East Coast don't get cousins. Because most of <laughs> I'm dead serious about <laughs> that. True. If you say, it's like, true. I hang out with my cousins, like, yeah. really? Did you marry one of them? Like, yeah, is that exactly an immediate thing? You're like, totally. Because your cousins, a lot of times, are your very first friends in life. And yeah. so it just seems a little weird to them. Why do you think that, like, the East Coast, like, no, no, I'm sorry. If it's not a one degree relation, I don't even know these people. Well, I, I mean, I think, like, I, States like the, that we grew up in, there's a lot of uh, people stay there. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like a lot of like, oh, my cousin's in San Diego and this one's in Colorado. Yeah. You know, it's like most people are around, mm -hmm. you know, and in Cliffside, they're all around. Yeah. You know, you're playing with your cousins are next door. Your cousins are down the street. And that's who that's who you grow up with. And family is, you know, I think it's the, it's a, there's a different value system yeah. and it's it's placed at a, at a higher level than a lot of places. And it's it's, you know, in, and in poor communities, too, you know, I think it's it's. It's it's part of how you survive, you yeah. know. You need you need uh, an extended family to yeah, support everybody. Yeah, you, you you know you don't you don't take somebody to a babysitter or mm -hmm. to the daycare. You know you call up your your grandma or you know your cousin or whoever, and it's it's a it's a it's a you know it's a means to survive. So what drew you to this film? Because you've been off the quad over Oh, honey boo boo, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm from Oklahoma originally, oh, hey. so India, Homa, Oklahoma. So I relate to this because it's a very small town. Um, mm -hmm. I came into it because the producer, Richard Beaver, was on it. I did a film with him last year. He said, take a look at this. It's going to South By, and I need some help because it's a big festival. You'll love John. And we actually just met yesterday. <laughs> but I watched the film, and I loved it. I started getting ready for South By. And so I'm organizing um, our reception that we're going to have before our screening mm -hmm. tomorrow that's at the Violet Crown. Um, at 9 o'clock, but we're going to meet at 8 o'clock at uh, Cafe Ruckus. Mm -hmm. And we're working with a local charity that addresses some of the stuff in the film. We're working with the um, Capital Area Food Bank yeah, that works with Feeding America. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have people bring cans tomorrow night. We're going to give out coffee and pastries. But it, it was funny because when Richard asked me to do the 
reception at first. I'm like, wow, I did the, the party for the film last year. We were in a meeting, and I was like, Richard, I just don't know. Is there a theme? Because it's a dark <laughs> movie. The and theme he, is poverty. I was like, so after they watch it, I mean, should it be like just shots of stuff that we're taking? And he's like, no, it's before the film. I was like, oh, good, because I don't know what I was going to do. Because <laughs> after this, you don't, I mean, you want to drink, I guess. <laughs> PBR and, and some marijuana. Yes, so. there you go. <laughs> yeah, put some rodeo on the screen. We'd be we good. can't really endorse that. We're, I, mean, <laughs> done, yeah, done. I don't think PBR does, spe- does sponsorships, so I, let us just say low end beer that is somehow popular among hipsters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's beer it. koozies. Yeah. So it covers up the name. <laughs> so, what drew you to doing a documentary to begin with? Well, I, um, I started film school at uh, NYU's grad film program uh, about five years ago. And um, we had to do a short documentary as part of our first year. And um, I, my little cousin had just gotten, just been diagnosed with leukemia. Mm. And, you know, I knew that she'd had to, to quit beauty pageants, that she was in that world. And, you know, her, her, her daddy, you know, had had, you know, these, these really significant events. He had, like, fr- three friends commit suicide within oh a year. Oh, my goodness. And, um, and had, had been through and had this, like, really tough history. And then on top of that, then his daughter – and I, it just, it just, I was just really compelled by what he's, what he's, what he's been through. And then, you know, like almost Job-like, you know, that he's gets this, this other, this other uh, tragedy in his life. And, uh, but he's, but he still like, there's, he still goes on, you know, mm-hmm. he's still like, he's, he still has. Well, he still has a family to support, he still has, has community. And yeah, he still has a family to support. You can't just stop just when something like that no, happens. No, not, not at all. And there's, there's so many challenges in the film that they face mm-hmm. and that they overcome. And when they watch the film, actually. Um, you know, I think it drew them closer together. You know, I'm, you know, that was kind of joking with uh, with with Brandy and EJ, the the father and mother in mm-hmm. this, and and because their relationship status on Facebook said uh, it's complicated uh-huh. or something before they watched the film, and then after they watched it, it said engaged. <laughs> so uh, I, I was joking with them. I'm like, did the film make you bring you together? And they're like, well, you know, it it did show us how much we like we really love each other. Oh, that's awesome. And. I, they do. They love each other as much as any couple I've ever seen. Yeah. So, a couple questions. How long did? How long were you filming this film? Uh, over the course of about five years. And, really. But it was. It was. You know, I was in New York, so it was like whenever I could get back, I would. I would film a pageant or, mm-hmm. or you know, a birthday or you know, some event. But then I, uh, when I decided to do it for my thesis film, I moved down to West Virginia. And uh, was kind of embedded down there for about five months. And that's where the bulk of the film comes from. And the second part of that question, she beats leukemia. But if she hadn't, would you have still gone forward with the film? If, if she hadn't beat, beat yeah. leukemia? Yeah, if it didn't have the happy ending. Well, you know, with a doc, you don't really know what kind of ending it's going to have when you start. You don't even know if you're going to have a story, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, w- with this one, um, I, you know, it was, it was fortunate enough that uh, that she did beat and it does have a happy ending you know and I you know everybody's like talking about how dark it is and that kind of thing but you know I'm going to disappoint everybody and say it has a lot of hope spoilers yeah. <laughs> it has a lot of hope well and uh, it's interesting yeah. because they overcome things but they do it in their own way mm-hmm. where a lot of us wouldn't relate to it and you might judge them yeah but you have to say what would you do you've never been in that situation yeah. Yeah. And they're doing the best they can well, I mean, especially when, with like with our healthcare system being the way it is, something as tragic as childhood leukemia, combined with poverty, you don't get to judge. I'm sorry, but if you're not in some sort of situation like that, it's not hillbillies on parade. Yeah. yeah. So, where can people see this at South by Southwest? So we are showing our premiere is on Sunday night, and we're screening at. Uh, AMC at Vi- uh, Violet Crown Cinema. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to be at Alamo Ritz on the 11th. And You'll uh, love the Alamo Satellite Alamo Slaughter on the 12th. And then back at the Violet Crown on the 13th. And are there any other places that people can watch this if they're not able to stalk you here at South By? Uh, well, we're, we're hoping to uh, to bring it out to the world pretty soon. We've just uh, just uh, got a sales rep, and we're trying to trying to bring it out to the world somehow in some way or another, South either by online or on TV or yeah, in good theater. Exposure. Yeah. Yeah, so. so good luck at South by Southwest. I look forward to everyone getting to see this film, and it's going to be awesome, and I hope we'll have you on again sometime in the future with more projects, hopefully yeah. maybe some comedies. <laughs> 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 so have a great time this week, and good luck with the film. Great. Thank you Thank so you much. very much. Thanks for having us.